tonight in the level up season, Big Brother is taking things to another level. Let's go check out level three. <laughs> oh, Wahala Pro Max. Wahala times 15 Pro Max. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Lucy's Quick One. Talking about Big Brother Niger show. See, the confusion. If you are confused, gather here. Let's gather here together. Let's talk about it together. Because tonight, tonight was just... <laughs> Oh my god, talking about the Big Brother Niger eviction show, guys. Like, let's dissect it together. Let's dissect it together because a lot of people are just angry on the streets of Twitter, Instagram, social media, TikTok. Everybody just like, what's going on, Biggie? How dare you? How would you do that? <laughs> okay, so in case you're wondering what happened, why is everybody so hyper? This is what happened. Normally, you know, we have our eviction show. And Ibuka comes in his Igbo attire, you know, talking to the housemate today. Even that's why I'm dressed in my own cultural attire because these guys, their wager this week was amazing. In fact, it made me proud to be a Nigerian and African for that matter. So Ibuka comes in his own Igbo regalia and he was talking. He goes over to him. It's the very first person for tonight. He calls Doin and then which is like, oh Doin, goodbye, take care of yourself. I could see Alison crying and then Bella hugging and everything. He moved on. Ibuka comes back. While Ibuka was talking, Ibuka said it's a surprise for us. What was the surprise? Next thing we are seeing doing entry into a place called the level three house. Everybody was like, what? I don't understand. Don't we have a few weeks to the end of the show? What's going on here? How how are we moving? Are we not supposed to be moving to the end of the show? Like Big Brother, what's going on? Ibuka comes back and says, you know what, I'm going to explain everything to you. Just calm down, guys. Just calm down. Then, Ibuka goes back to the house and then the next housemaid was evicted and that was Elo Swag. Ibuka now comes back. And Ibuka is now like... So, you see this level 3 house they are talking about? Everybody that has been evicted tonight will be going to the level 3 house. These guys have been evicted. They are no longer housemates. As per housemates competing for the 100 million naira they are now big brother's guests they will be in this house called level three for a couple of days after a while they will be going back into the main house but they have been evicted so they have no rights to the money they have no rights to win any prize so if they won't compete in any competition in the house they won't be winning anything because they are already evicted people are now like okay so big brother, if they are evicted, why don't you just allow them to go home? I don't I, like why create another house and keep them in there? Like the confusion of it all. I could see a lot of people complaining on social media. While some people were saying, you know what, oh, don't is the first house needs to be in level three. Other people were like, Big Brother, I don't guess. Like, are you, are you trying to get on our nerves today? Like, you already done us proud because before the eviction show, you gave Bella a strike for that food incident. Remember that food incident with Rachel and then Shakes? And then Big Brother gave Shakes a strike for not going along with the Tale of House costume, you know, proving like I'm Big Man Shakes. I think you guys call him Mr. Ikoi. Shakes. Yes, Big Brother. Bella. Yes, Big Brother. Big Brother hereby issues you a strike. So at the end of the day, Mr. and Mrs. Ikoyi will issue strikes each, which means that they have two more strikes before they get disqualified from the show. But moving back to this whole confusion thing, while everybody was talking, I was thinking in my mind and I said, I just want to give kudos to the organizers. That's why the confusion that is happening, this strategy that the organizers took would still make Big Brother trend because if they had evicted these guys doing an elo swag and then they just moved outside the top now everybody was like yeah okay how many people left okay next next but now big brother will be on the lips of people today tomorrow when the fake housemates or the guests of big brother that's doing an elo swag and also chomzy because chomzy was evicted when they go back into the house big brother will trend again so for the entire week big, Bro big brother will be trending like can we just clap for him Baba is out to make money, regardless of whatever you guys feel. So <laughs> let's just keep our feelings together. Ebuka comes back to the house and then he goes to Bella and Shakes. And he asks one of the questions that many of you have been asking since when this whole Bella and Shakes, I'm breaking up with you, I'm coming back to you, I'm breaking up with you again, started. Ebuka talks to Bella and says, Bella, what's going on? Like, 
Shex keeps on giving you different types of names. He calls you some degrading names and then you are still there. Is there something you want to explain to us? I really like him, so sometimes it feels like I disrespect him. So when you love people, you're okay with name calling? I'm just trying to understand that. I'm actually not okay with it. I'm trying to correct it and he's, he's, he has actually improved me, so yeah. We're still working on getting to know each other. Bella is like, I like him and he's changing. You see why I say it's a script? You see why I say it's a script? Like normally, I know that there are some people who are in some kind of abusive relationships that, you know, they, they don't, they, the words that are said to them in those relationships are really bad and could affect you mentally. However, guys, this is a script. The kind of persona I think Bella has will not be able to condone this thing outside. And that's why we we'll wait for the reunion to happen. When the reunion happens, let's see what's going to happen with Shags and Bella. If they're going to still continue the script or if reality would play at that point in time. Ebuka comes back and then he evicts the third housemate for tonight and that was Chauncey. Everyone was like, hey, Chauncey is going to go with our boy, hello swag and all of that. And then I had comments of, I don't know why Big Brother is playing this kind of game because you know these housemates have already been evicted. They will not go back into the house and they, they are not their guests, they're no longer housemates. What about the mental health of these guys? I feel that before each of these housemates got into the house, they signed contracts. They agreed to play this game. So this is a game, no hard feelings there. But anyways, in summary, what Big Brother is saying about level three is level three is the guest house, and anybody who is in that house would definitely be a guest till probably the 18th of september so come next sunday we'll be having either six people leave the house 10 people leave the house because i don't know how big, big brother is going to do this i really do not know let me know what you think in the comment section like how do you think big brother is going to play this game how do you think he's going to twist and turn this event i would like to know down there in the comment section guys like some people even say that oh big brother is because he's level one that is going out that they feel like big brother um likes level one more than level two housemates and all of that i don't think so i just think that this guy is just creating one of the best narratives like this is something that has never been seen before and then he's just creating history with the show tonight was just <sighs> i wait to see how these guys will go back into the house and the reaction of the housemates when they see doi and chomzi and eloswag back into the house guys till then <laughs> Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching tonight's episode of one of the bloodiest eviction I have seen in the history of Big Brother Niger. Do not forget guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel down there and of course drop your comments on the episode. Till next time guys, take care of yourself, enjoy every moment.